everyone welcome back my youtube channel ncrt maths hub today in this video we will do worksheet number 53 for class 10 subject mathematics in this video we are going to do some problems based on segment and sector of circle so let's begin with example number one that is abcd is a trapezium with ab side parallel to dc so we are given ab is parallel to dc ab is 18 centimeters so this side is 18 centimeter and dc that is this one so equals to 32 centimeter and distance between AB and DC is 14 centimeter means we are given the height of trapezium that is the distance between the parallel sides AB and DC that is equals to 14 centimeter and arcs of equal radii 7 centimeter with center A, B, C and D have been drawn then find the area of shaded region so now four arcs have been drawn on each vertex of trapezium with radius 7 centimeter so we need to find this shaded region so let's begin with solution so in the solution part first of all write the given things that we are already mentioned here ab equals to 18 centimeter so the side ab equals to 18 centimeter side dc equals to 32 centimeter and the distance between ab and dc that is parallel sides that is we can say height of the trapezium equals to 14 centimeter so now area of trapezium equals to we know that 1 by 2 into sum of parallel sides into height so put all the values here and we will get the area of trapezium as 350 centimeter square so now as ab and dc are parallel so these angles a and d and here b and c will form co-interior angles these are pair of co-interior angles so sum of angle a plus d will be equals to 180 degree and b plus c will be equals to 180 degree keep in mind these are pair of co-interior angles so therefore also radius of each arc we are given that is 7 centimeter so therefore area of each sector with central angle a so area of the sector will be angle A upon 360 into pi r square and r is here 7 centimeter. So now area of sector with central angle D will be angle D upon 360 into pi r square. Similarly area of sector with central angle B will be angle B upon 360 into pi r square and similarly area of sector with central angle C will be equal to angle C upon 360 into pi r square. So now area of four sectors will be angle A upon 360 into pi r square plus angle D upon 360 into pi r square similarly angle B upon 360 into pi r square plus angle C upon 360 into pi r square so now you can see here angle A plus D is 180 degree so you can see here angle A plus angle D upon 180 into pi r square and similarly here angle B plus C upon 360 into pi r square so now put all the values here A plus D will be 180 upon 360 pi is 22 by 7 and radius is 7 so 7 square become 49 similarly here 180 upon 360 into 22 by 7 into 49 so after simplifying we will get area of these two sectors as 77 and here these two sectors will be 77 so after adding we will get 154 centimeter square as the area of four sectors so now area of sedent region will be equals to area of trapezium minus area of four sectors so area of trapezium we have 350 centimeter square so here 350 centimeter square minus area of four sectors that is 154 centimeter square so therefore area of shaded region will be 196 centimeter square this is the required area so now example number two in the example number two we are given a circle with center o and with radius 5 centimeter and corresponding length of arc as 3.5 centimeter so we are given radius of circle that is r equals to 5 centimeter and length of arc of sector is 3.5 centimeter let the central angle to be theta so we all know that length of arc equals to theta upon 360 into 2 pi r so here from this value we can find the angle theta that is equals to 441 upon 11 degree so the central angle mil jata isolation say so that is 441 upon 11 degree so now area of sector will be theta upon 360 into pi r square so put all the values here and after simplifying you will get the result that is area of sector of circle with radius 5 centimeter and arc of length 3.5 centimeter will be 8.75 centimeter square so now example number three a brooch is made with silver wire in the form of circle with diameter 35 mm that is millimeter and the wire is also used in making five diameters which will divide the circle into 10 equal sectors as shown in figure find the total length of silver wire required and area of each sector of brooch so here you can see the figure of brooch that is of circular shape and here the wire is being used in five diameters and also making the circumference of circle so now we are given the diameter of 
brooch that is 35 mm that is millimeter so the total length of silver wire required we have to find and the area of each sector of brooch we are to find so now here total length total number of diameters to be considered as 5 so we are given 5 diameter so total length of 5 diameter will be 35 into 5 so this will be 175 mm and the circumference of circle will be 2 pi r so 2 pi r or you can say circumference equals to pi into d so pi is 22 by 7 and diameter is 35 so after simplifying we will get 110 mm as the circumference of circle so now the circumference of circle in plus the length of five diameters will be the total length of wire required so the part one will be total length of silver wire required will be circumference of circle plus length of five diameters will be equals to 110 plus 175 equals to 185 mm so this is the length of required wire and now we need to find the area of each sector brooch so area of circle will be pi r square and pi is 22 by 7 and radius is half of diameter that is 35 by 2 and r square so that 35 by 2 square so after simplifying you will get 1925 by 2 mm square as the area of circle so now total number of sector we have in the brooch is 10 as we are using 5 diameters so there will be 10 sectors so area of each sector will be total area of circle divided by number of sectors so area of each sector will be 1925 by 2 into 1 by 10 so after simplifying we will get 385 upon 4 mm square as the area of each sector so now in example number four we have a round table cover has six equal designs as shown in figure if radius of each cover is 28 centimeter find the cost of making the design at the rate of 0 0.35 per centimeter square so now you can see total number of equal designs we have that is six so you can see here so therefore angle of AOB or you can say angle of each sector will be 360 upon 6 that will be 60 degree so radius of cover that is you can say OA equals to OB equals to 28 centimeter so now cost of design we are given that is 0 0.35 per centimeter square since two arms of triangle are the radii of circle thus are equal so radii are equal you know radii are all, all radii are congruent so radii are equal and the one angle is of 60 degree that is central angle is AOB is equals to 60 degree so therefore triangle AOB is an equilateral triangle so triangle AOB will be an equilateral triangle all these triangles will be equilateral triangle here so area of triangle will be under root 3 by 4 into side square so keep in mind area of equilateral triangle is always under root 3 by 4 into side square so here we have side as radius of circle or you can say radius of design and under root 3 by 4 so under root 3 we can use at the value of 1.73 upon 4 that is constant and side we have as radius so put all the values here so area of equilateral triangle will be root 3 by 4 into 28 square so put the value of root 3 as 1.73 into 28 square will be 784 and after simplifying we will get 333.2 centimeter square as area of equilateral triangle so now area of sector will be ACB that is here you can see AOC AOBC A or you can say area of ACB will be theta upon 360 into pi r square so put all the values here and after simplifying we will get as area of sector as 410.66 centimeter square as area of each sector and now we have six sectors so area of design or you can say area of, first of all find area of single design so area of single design will be area of each sector that is acb minus area of triangle aob so now 410.66 centimeter minus area of triangle that is 333.2 centimeter square so area of each design that is this shaded part will be equals to 77.46 centimeter square so now area of six design will be 6 into 77.46 centimeter square and this will be 464.76 centimeter square that is equals to area of six design so now we are given cost of design for per centimeter square as 0.35 rupees so cost of making the design whole design will be 464.76 centimeter that is area of six design into cost of design per centimeter square that is 0.35 so after simplifying we will get the cost of design will be 162.66 centimeter square as the cost of design so this is all about examples so now we have practice questions so for move ahead for the solution part and first question we are given a square opqr is inscribed in a quadrant oaqb 
of a circle. So if the radius of circle is 62 centimeter, find the area of shaded region. So you can see here OPQR square is inscribed in a quadrant that is OBAO. You can see here on the screen or you can say OBQA or OAQB. You can name it according to your requirement. So now we are given the radius of circle that is 62 centimeter here and we need to find the area of shaded region. So we are having a square OPQR. So let the side of square OPQR to be X and given radius of circle that is R equals to you can see here R equals to OA equals to OQ equals to OB all are radii of quadrant that is equals to 62 centimeter. So now in triangle you can see this is square so this angle will be 90 degree here it will be 90 degree here it will be 90 degree here it will be 90 degree. So consider this triangle ORQ. So in triangle ORQ by using Pythagoras theorem that is square of hypotenuse equals to sum of square of the two smaller sides or we can say sum of square of two smaller side equals to square of hypotenuse. So here sum of square of two smaller side that is OR equals to x square plus QR square that is x square equals to hypotenuse square that is OQ square equals to 62 square. So now x square plus x square becomes 2x square and here 62 square becomes 62 into 62. So x square will be equals to 62 into 62 upon 2 this will be become 62 into 31 here. So now x will be equals to 32 can be written as 2 into 31 into 31 here and this square becomes square root on transposition to the right hand side and after simplifying we will get 31 into under root 2 as the side of square. So now we have side of square as 31 root 2 centimeter. So now area of shaded region will be area of quadrant OAQB minus area of square OPQR. So now we have area of square so area of quadrant will be area of quadrant is you know quadrant is one fourth of circle. So we can write directly it as one by four part of area of circle that is pi r square into minus area of square that is side square. So put all the values here one by four pi is 3.14 we can write it as 314 upon 100 into r square that is 62 into 62 minus side square that is 31 root 2 centimeter square. So this will be 31 root square. So now after simplifying we will get this value as 3017.54 and here this value will become 1922. So now after simplifying we will get the result that is area of shaded region will be 1095.54 cm square as the area of shaded region. So this is all about question number one. So now proceed for question number two. Find the area of shaded region in the figure where arcs are drawn with the centers A, B, C and D intersect in pairs at midpoints P, Q, R and S of side A, B, B, C, C, D and D A respectively. So you can see here in the figure arcs are drawn assuming the vertex of square A, B, C and D that those intersect the midpoint of square at point P, Q, R and S and we are given the side of square as 12 centimeter. So the radius of this quadrant or you can say these arcs will be half of the side of square that is 12 by 2 that is 6 centimeter. So we are given the side of square ABCD equals to 12 centimeter and radius of each arc is drawn that is drawn with the centers A, B, C and D forming quadrants at point A, B, C and D will be equals to 12 by 2 that is equals to 6 centimeter. So radius of this quadrant will be 6 centimeter each. So area of shaded region will be area of square minus area of 4 quadrants. So area of square will be side square and area of four quadrant means area of square or we can write it as area of four quadrant will be equals to four into area of each quadrant that is one by four into pi r square is area of each quadrant multiplied by four as we are having four quadrants at each vertex of the square. So four four will be cancelled this will be area of square. So side square will be 12 square here and pi is 3.14 and radius is six centimeters so six into six become 36. So now here 12 square become 144 and 3.14 into 36 and this will be here 113.04. So after subtracting 113.04 from 144 we will get as 30.96 cm square as the area of shaded region. So this is all about question number 2. So now proceed for question number 3. In figure shown a sector OAP you can see of circle with center O containing angle A angle theta and AB is perpendicular to the radius OA and meet OP produced at B prove that the perimeter of shaded region is R into tan theta plus secant theta plus pi theta upon 180 minus 1. So here you can see 
we are given a circle with center o and central angle is theta and radius o is perpendicular to ab and when radius op produced means we are to produce toward b so radius op produced meet the ab at point b so we need to find the perimeter of the shaded region so we first of all we are to find this length of arc ap then ab and this bp so then after we will add these three results and we will get the perimeter of shaded region so now first of all length of this arc so first of all we will find the length of arc ap so length of arc ap or you can say pa will be equals to theta upon 360 into 2 pi r so 2 180 will become 360 so 360 will be cancelled by 2 and will it become 180 so here it is th theta upon 180 into pi r this is the length of arc ap so now in triangle oap in triangle oap you can see here this is angle theta so side opposite to angle theta will be perpendicular and side adjacent to angle theta will be base and here this side opposite to right angle will be hypotenuse so first of all we are to find ten, 10 theta and 10 theta you know perpendicular upon base so here perpendicular upon base will be ab upon oa so ab upon oa and oa we are given that is radius of circle so oa will be equals to r so ab will be equals to r tan theta ab mil jata hame r tan theta so ab ki value mil jati r tan theta so now the remaining part is BP. For BP, we will find first of all OB. To find BP, first of all, we will find OB. So you can see secant of theta. So secant theta is hypotenuse upon base. So we have hypotenuse as OB and base is OA. So OA equals to R. So BO upon R will be equals to secant theta. Or we can say BO equals to R secant theta. So now we have complete value BO. So now we will subtract this OP. So we will get BP. So length of BP will be equals to OB minus OP and OB we have as R secant theta. So put here R secant theta minus OP that is R. So R secant theta minus R is the length of BP. So now add all these values to find the perimeter of shaded region. So, so perimeter of shaded region will be equals to arc AP plus AB arc AP plus AB plus BP. So arc AB plus AB plus BP and arc AB is equals to theta upon 360 into pi r and AB is r tan theta and BP is r secant theta minus r. So put all the values here and take r as common and we will get the required result that is r into tan theta plus secant theta plus pi theta upon 180 minus 1 and this is the required result and this is all about worksheet number 53. So if you learn from this video, then please do subscribe my channel and share this video as much as you can. Thanks for watching.